Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to tie a fly I call Fax Caddis. It's a really good fishing fly and it's really fun to tie as well. I use a Hanak 280 barbless size 14 for this video but you can tie it in any size you want. I use a Textreme Power Thread 50 denier on this fly because it's thin and it's easy to split. It's also really strong and that's important because we'll split the thread later on and also use it as a dubbing loop at the same time. For the egg sack I will use a CDC feather fluo green that will also work as a hotspot and I tie it in with a couple of loose turns a bit down where the hook bends. Use some hackle pliers and spin the feather while you wrap it around the hook shank. Tie the feather off and cut away the excess and also cut away all the fibers that are sticking out. Spin the bobbin anti-clockwise to flatten the thread so you can split it. For the body I use natural or brown CDC feathers and the number of feathers you need depends on the quality of the CDC feathers. The longer and thicker they are, the less feathers you need. Spin the bobbin clockwise to make the CDC feathers spin in the thread. Now you can brush it a bit to get all the fibers out. Wind the CDC around the hook shank and stroke all the fibers back with each turn. Once again brush out all the fibers. Use a pair of scissors and cut it into the shape of a caddis. Also cut the underside quite close to the hook shank. For the eyes I use a bit of nylon tippet material that I burn in both ends. Tie the eyes in and make sure they are centered. Then you can Bend the eyes slightly upwards and forward. Use a black permanent waterproof marker to 
paint the eyes. Wind the thread back a bit to prepare for the attachment of the wings. A tutorial on how to do those is on my YouTube channel. Place the wings so they stick out a bit behind the hook band. Make a couple of loose wraps and then adjust the wing so that it's on a slight angle. Secure the feather and then cut away the excess. Make sure you don't pull any fibers cause that way you'll mess up the wing. Keep the top of the feather cause we will use it later for antennas. After tying down the rest of the feather I will use the eyes to reverse the way the thread goes around the hook shank. This might be unnecessary but I found that the result is much better when the fibers in both wings are affected the same way by the thread. They are pulled upwards on each side. Secure the feather and then use the eyes again to reverse the thread back to the way it was before. Now strip away the fibers from the top of the wing feathers that we saved before. Align them and place them on top of the fly. Use a brown permanent waterproof marker and paint the thread wraps. Now I use some super glue to make the fly even more durable. Now put some wax on the thread and split it to insert some deer hair. If you want to know how to do that, Thomas Roos has a really good video on it and I will post a link in the description. Make sure the root ends are as close to the thread as possible and then spin it really gently to start with. Put a little clamp of some sort on the thread to keep it from unspinning. Then flatten the thread again to insert one more CDC feather. 
and if you have any scruffy or uneven feathers, now is a perfect time to use them. After the CDC is spun, place a doubling spinner with a clamp pause and create a doubling loop. The CDC and deer hair are now parallel and it's time to spin them. Wind the loop around the hook shank, stroking all the fibers back with each turn. Tie the dubbing loop off and make a couple of half hitches. To be extra safe you can add some varnish or UV resin to the last couple of half hitches. Cut away the tying thread and the dubbing loop. Brush the fibers gently and then trim it on the top and on the underside. And make sure the underside is flat so it lays nicely in the water. Then you can pull fibers until the fly is as bushy as you want it. That's the Fax Caddis and if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.